Hi, my name is Dr. Scott Young, and today we're going to talk about after the red pill, how do you serve your community? Coming right up. Okay, so I know you might hear about this and you're saying after red pill, what is a red pill? Red pill, blue pill, matrix kind of thing. Here's what happens. This is uh, my, my book called Revelations of the Red Pill. It's very interesting for you. You can get it at drscottyoung.com. Um, I promise you when you think through what will happen, we're gonna see some mighty changes. Now some of the changes will be slower, like legal changes. Some of the changes like the debt release and few other things will be quicker, okay? And so they'll be in different phases. But I wanted to kind of talk to you because a lot of people don't fully understand what they might th do after this, okay? So when you see all of these idiots going to jail, you're gonna, or in Gitmo or wherever that might be, um, you're going to find out, wait a second, there's a void. There's a void of leadership. There are people who are just going to fade off the map. They're the ones that have been pushing the little mm, thing and the sickness issue. They've been pushing all of that issue. And now all, of, all that they believed in is fraud. And so, or they've been pushing their stupid, idiotic, cabal type agendas. And what you're gonna find is though those people will just fade away. I mean, and I'm not talking about bad people. I'm talking about just people who are brainwashed in this way. And, and frankly, they haven't been listening to the evidence. They knew something was amiss, but they kind of just ignored it. And by the way, we have all ignored things in our lives. We've ignored that girlfriend who was kind of turning away from you and you didn't really catch it and you think about it later on, you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And it's that kind of that kind of evidences that you have to pay attention to. And if you don't pay attention to them, they will bite you hard. And that's what's coming for a lot of people. So, so I'm gonna give you a couple examples. Um, the first example of how you can serve your community is with the, the body of Christ. Now, let me give you an example kind of what might happen. You see, the purveyors of truth are supposed to be the pastors and the teachers around us. Because when, when the lie gets revealed, truth is going to flood in and people are gonna ask this question. They're not just going to act, ask the opinion questions, they're gonna ask, how did you know? It's gonna be a verification thing. And we've talked about that before. If you haven't seen it, you can kinda of go look at my other part of the channel with that, that I've talked a lot about this. But they're gonna ask this question, how did you know what's happening? And they're gonna ask these verification questions so that, that, that we understand what we know, what we know that we know. And you're gonna to have to fill that in, but you're gonna to have to help them find their own way. But they're going to be walking into the pastors and the churches and they're going to say, how come you didn't tell us? And that pastor might have been just completely lost, just like many of you are, okay? Or many of you have been at one time. And they're going to be, eyes are going to be spinning going, well, I don't know. And, and they're just going to fade off in the distance. Maybe God is telling you to be the pastor of that church. Maybe God has been raising you up in that way. Another thing is that, is that um, at, we're going to have to be serving around different areas, especially in the churches or in, in, in other places, to be able to help the body heal. Okay, There are going to be a lot of healing going on. School boards are going to need you because we've been filled with this left-wing crazy philosophies that absolutely are opposite of taking care of kids. And you're gonna, they're going to need you. They're going to need you to serve on that school board. How about senior centers? 
We have seniors who don't watch YouTube. They're not on YouTube. They're not on the, the social media channels. The most that they might be on is fake book. And that's why I say it that way, okay? It's just fake. Everything is fake about it. And so we, we're, when that, that becomes the stupid, they're going to say, how did I not know about this? And they really haven't known about that. So that's a point of service that you can actually do is talk to these people. Maybe you're going to go down and do talks. Maybe you're just going to go down and just talk to the people individually. There's a lot of possibilities out there that you might find. And so I, I just recommend you that you look for that service points. But here's the thing. We're going to need senators, congressmen, state senators, uh, uh, you know, all kinds of different you know, positions of all different types. And so we're going to need them throughout the region. We're going to need city council and mayors because most of these people were fakely take it, brought into office. Okay, you know what that word is, okay? They've been fake all the way through. And so now when we, we elect those people correctly, in the correct way, because we need to listen to the will of the people within the constitutional basis. And so when you see that kind of thing happening, you might have to be serving. Some of you are saying, no, I'm not supposed to serve. Really? Really? Um, you might not feel uh, capable. Really? I promise you, you might be. I'm not saying you're supposed to. I'm saying ask God what you're supposed to do because that's what's going to happen. And, and this, this actually occurred right after the Revolutionary War. See, the, the English were here and they had their their protectorates, and they had their, you know, uh, they had all of their, their systems, and, and they had their own money and everything else. And then when they were suddenly kicked out of the, the country, we had to step back in and say, wait, we need to be in Congress. We need to be in Senate. We need to be in city government. We need to be a mayor. We need to do these jobs. And they weren't for the prestige. They were work. Okay, and they were for short term, and that's the other thing that's going to happen. They're going to be going back to a two term sit sentence. Okay, and sentence is another way of thinking about it. It's a two term to be able to do this job and to do it correctly, and then get someone else in there so that you see that process happening. That might also be another area that you can serve. So. Part of it is, is you might be able to do this throughout the community in different ways. You might be in churches, like as a pastor. You might be taking over in the school boards and <coughs> elected positions, um, all kinds of elected positions. And lastly, you also might be in the senior centers, helping those people who really don't have access to, to social media in the same way that you do, help them understand what just occurred. So thank you so much for listening. Subscribe, like, share this with people because they've got to hear the information. Thanks so much.